To me, there's no doubt one of these two games are going to win Game of the Year. But the question is, which one? See, I can do this because it's the last day of November. <laughs> So hey guys, KVG here. The Game Awards are coming up, the big show of the year when it comes to video games, where we get to nerd out even more. So first question I have is, what do you think, what's a few of the games that are gonna win some awards and what do you think they're gonna win? Like, do you think Cuphead's gonna win Best Art Direction? Do you think Persona's gonna get Best Music? Just leave your thoughts down below on the Game Awards. What do you think is gonna win what? And if it's your first time here, my name's Kibaji in which I have weekly content every Thursday to indulge in our geeky interests, to entertain you guys with discussions like this, reactions, and much, much more. So watch to the end of the video and consider subscribing. So this year when it came to the Game Awards, I actually managed to call four out of five of the game nominees. God damn you players on Old Battleground. God damn you! That was the only one. I don't know how I didn't predict that. I thought that came out like I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna have this, by the way, a lot with me in this video. I I got some serious notes for this. Now, Persona 5 and Horizon, they they have a shot. I'm not gonna say it's impossible for them to win, but they're kind of the dark horses here. Let's be real. The real winner of Game of the Year this year is gonna be between Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, and Super Mario Odyssey. Like those two games have been killing it in the freaking reviews, like 10 out of 10s, perfects, like, oh, yeah. Which is really great to see for, an, like, Nintendo, because they have not one, but two nominees for Game of the Year this year, and that's just really cool to freaking see. Nintendo is back, baby. Now, picking between these two games, it's incredibly subjective, because they're both two dauntingly fantastic games, but they're, like, to break it down objectively, it's really tough. Like, this is a very daunting task to do. I wanted to do this video actually ever since I started playing Odyssey because I was like, okay, this game is fantastic, but is it better than Breath of the Wild? Because I, I wanted to give it at least a month to let my hype die down. And I encourage that with hopefully everybody that votes for the Game Awards as well. I really want the hype to be down and not to just pick the one that's newer, you know, the one that's more fresh in their mind. But I had a video a long while ago that was really well received. I did two videos like this actually, and you know, I thought it'd be really fun slash challenging to do one for these two games. And as we're getting like one week out from the Video Game Awards, so where we'll get the answer to this question. Oh, this could be an hour long discussion. <laughs> and I apologize, I'm going to be looking at notes through this, but at the same time, I'm gonna want to have gameplay and stuff over what I talk about here, and so kind of just let's get into this. So as I was saying before, I had a very well received video in the past, mainly between uh, Moana versus Zootopia. I did a really, I'm actually kind of proud of that video I did. And that I broke down categories and put like this versus this, like animation and music and so on. And I think for this, if I did that, the video would last forever. And I like that system, I do. I like it when people compare points. But for these two games, they're completely different things. They're completely, they accomplish what they set out to do. But um, just throwing it out here, like starting off our breakdown, I, I will address a couple points that I can be as objective as possible with. When it comes to the technical aspect of both games, both these games are really good looking and stuff and sound design is great, but I got to give the edge to Odyssey in this one. Odyssey, uh, the graphics are, I don't want to say they're better, but they do have much more polish to them, and especially the frame rate. The frame rate, there is no drops in that game that I've personally discovered. There's no, uh, like, glitches or whatever. It runs a lot smoother than Zelda, and because of that, technically, like, in the technical aspects, like graphics and whatnot, I can give that to Odyssey. Whereas things like art direction, to me, there this one's like no doubt goes to Breath of the Wild, because the artwork that's continuously throughout this game, and it stands, it's, it has its own style compared to the rest of the Zelda franchise. And while Odyssey looks great, it does seem like it's a modern, updated graphic version of just the Mario franchise. Whereas Breath of the Wild actually not only apply their own art style to it, but they thought of all these new outfits and schemes and so on and, and, and set pieces and just did awesome when it comes to production design. Not to mention Breath of the Wild actually did get nominated for art direction this year. Also things like story. Like story, I think everybody that's played both these games can agree that Zelda's always had a trump when it comes to story because Mario is always the same thing. Bowser kidnap Peach, go save her, and that's the nutshell. <laughs> and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but just, you know, it's, it's things like this. Like, I could go on and on and compare points like this, 
But to me, the thing about all this is that it's this is completely subjective. And if you don't know what I mean by that, it's completely personal preference. Both these games set out to do exactly what they wanted to do, and they did it in such a fantastic way. So to compare these objective points, I guess that could help one if you want to do it like that. But I want to get into some subjective stuff, what I personally think works best for both games. For example, both these games got nominated for best soundtrack or music, you know, that, that kind of thing. Just best, you know, songs to go in the background of the game. You know, I would argue actually that Odyssey was probably the one that would take this. While both to me had great soundtracks, I admit Breath of the Wild was a little bit underwhelming. And I want to use that word. It's not necessarily that it was bad, it was just underwhelming when comparing it to Odyssey's big grand scheme of things. However, what I do want to defend Breath of the Wild with is that the soundtrack, like I said, both these games set out to do what they want to do. Breath of the Wild's soundtrack is actually very ambient. It really accomplishes to blend in with the world, to become one with the gameplay, and to really, like, it even shifts, if you're at a certain village, it'll shift the music's tone and, and pace and everything with the time of day. And it's things like that, that it just, it really integrates in what's happening in the world around you. Whereas Odyssey, it, it kind of just has a consistent background theme and it'll pop up certain themes when you do certain things, but it's much more grand. And that's what Mario is. It's much more grand of an adventure and much more, I'm not sure what the word is here, but poppy, you know? And because of that factor, you know, one's more ambient and one and the other one's much more grand, the grand one's obviously gonna stand out more. So I don't wanna really knock Breath of the Wild off for doing that. And I could go on and on and compare stuff like this that are completely personal preference, like, you know, the worlds or the characters, uh, gameplay mechanics and so on. You know, there's a lot of things that could be compared, but like I said, if I did that, this video would be like an hour or two hour discussion. <laughs> Both these games set out to do what they intended to do do, and not only did they do it great, they got complete awesome recognition for it. Now, here's the big kicker. There is one deciding factor from each of these games, Breath of the Wild and Odyssey. They each have a deciding factor that makes one, whichever one wins, because I could totally see either one winning, but whichever one wins, I believe that this will be the definitive reason for each as to which one manages to do it. And each have a completely different reason. First off, the reason as to why Odyssey will win. The factor to Super Mario Odyssey is that, in a nutshell, it basically perfects the Mario franchise and completely celebrates it. It's fun for everyone. It'll be the much more faster paced game. If anybody jumps into it, they will have fun and it will be harder to jump into than it is with Breath of the Wild. If someone asked me, you know, is this the best Mario game ever? Like I would argue possibly yes. Everything it's established in its past games, whether they're the linear platformers or they're the kind of sandbox like thing that this game is continuing, like 64 and Sunshine, this game is the best of all worlds. It encompasses everything that people have loved about all the main AAA console titles. And like I said earlier, the game runs great and it's, you know, not necessarily a different style, but it just, it feels like the epitome of what Mario is, like a great swan song if this was the last game. And it's a very enlightening experience to say that this is possibly the best Mario has ever been. Now, what's the deciding factor for Breath of the Wild? To me, it's a very opposite situation. Odyssey is a very perfected thing of the Mario franchise, whereas Breath of the Wild is a giant risk when it comes to the development of it. It's an incredibly ga big gamble that they did. They chose to throw the franchise in a direction that isn't super off what they usually have done, but it's more like they reinvented it. They they actually got to make the Zelda game we've always wanted kind of a thing. Because we've gotten large sandbox, sort of free roam like Zelda games before. But this is a legit open world Zelda game that we've never gotten. And they actually try to change a lot of things up, like no more grappling hook and so on, and replace that with say a paraglider. They really change things up to redesign Zelda in this. And then not just in the art direction, but just when it comes to the entire game as a whole. It changed a lot of traditions in the Zelda franchise, and luckily a lot of them worked out as well as little references, you know, to past games. 
and it really worked out to give us a really big breath of fresh air, as everybody keeps saying. So in other words, one game is the franchise perfected, and the other one is it reinvented. With those two factors in mind, as well as kind of other things that, you know, I'm not touching upon, what would I have to decide? And again, I could see either of these games winning for those reasons. I might even argue if this was like a point by point list, I think Odyssey actually might have more when it comes to, you know, which one has more good factors in it. What I believe personally is that while Odyssey is going to be marked as possibly the best Mario game of all time, Breath of the Wild needs to not only be considered that for Legend of Zelda, but to be considered as one of the greatest games of all time because of its reinvention, because of the risk it took, because of really not only making great Zelda game, but actually breaking into the open world and free roam genre and making a title that could be considered one of the best open world games, period. To me, I see Odyssey as the best Super Mario title yet. Where I see Breath of the Wild as, possibly, is that for Zelda, but also open world titles. So my personal pick when it comes to which one should be mo like mocked down as legendary, I would consider that to be Breath of the Wild. Now keep that comment section completely rational if you can. I know no matter what, there's gonna be, you know, personal feelings involved, but just do your best to be as rational as you can and not put too much salt in there and leave some comments down below to let me know if you kind of see what I'm saying or if you disagree or like agree completely, just any thoughts you have down below and which of these two titles do you think is the better game or you could say both that and which one you think will actually win the award. Like, just any thoughts down below, let me know, guys. I'd love to see it. Because it's a seriously interesting topic, as well as, you know, let me know if what other, you know, what games you think will take which awards home. I'll leave a link in the description for what the award nominees are, and I think you can actually vote there, too. And I want to thank Madsen and Manuel for joining. I hope I announced those things right. I want to thank those two guys for joining my Patreon page after that recent update video I did. You guys have meant so much to me and they left me some nice messages too and just in general that update video was so well received from you guys thank you so much for that and yeah if you want to join Madsen and Manuel in the patron page I have daily vlogs to talk about stuff like this as well as behind the scenes and personal life stuff that you guys might be intrigued in so if you're interested in doing that and want to help out support future videos click in the card above or description or whatever <laughs> and if it's your first time here check out the outro card there's gonna be more stuff for you to click on and I will see you in another video